Okay, ladies and gentlemen, in the last lesson we began a discussion on the improvements to the isolation mode in Adobe Illustrator CS4. I'd just like to expand on that now. What the isolation mode does in the broadest sense is just that. It allows you to isolate bits of artwork from the rest of the document so you can work on those pieces of artwork unencumbered by a fear of selecting something you don't want to select. Okay, let me use this as an example. Let me zoom in here and you can see this path here that's kind of hanging out. Let's say, for instance, that I want to get rid of this path. Okay, there are ways to do it previously, of course. For instance, the group selection tool. But since this lesson is about the isolation mode, let's ignore the group selection tool for now. Let me double click on this little piece of artwork. And now we've entered the isolation mode. Let's go to the Layers palette and see what I'm talking about. You can see here we're in the isolation mode. We've isolated this group, okay, the group that contains this little piece of artwork. If you look up here, Adobe Illustrator now provides you with what they call, I believe, a breadcrumb path or something like that that shows you exactly where you are in this group. Now we can drill down further and further into this group just by double-clicking. You See, we've gone deeper now. Let's continue to do that until we finally drill down all the way to the individual path that we want to manipulate. And we just want to delete that path, get it out of the way. We don't want it encroaching on the uh, this part of our flag here. I don't know how it got over there, but let's just delete it. And then let's just hit the escape key. We'll leave the isolation mode. Let me zoom out. And you'll see that everything is fine. The real benefit here, folks, is workflow. What the isolation tool allows you to do is to keep working inside your document without having to switch to the group selection tool, going to the layers palette, locking and unlocking layers. It allows you to keep your hands on the selection tool and just to keep on working. You're really going to like this feature.